Hi, Leo. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Herald of Change, needing direction. So maybe you need to change something or something is changing. Maybe you need to, you need direction. Okay, what is the message here? Temperance, balance. It could be around your love life or a connection or money. Something coming in. The world and moon. So there could be confusion about what to do next, either in your love life or your finances, something like that. You could have something coming towards you with the Knight of Wands energy, a message. And again, you may need to make a decision. The Ten of Cups, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Feels kind of like you have to make a decision, Leo, about something or someone. If you're going to keep investing in something or working on something or maybe Eight of Coins. You have the Ace of Cups, the Lovers. Ten of coins, and you are the outcome, Leo. Wow. This looks like love, but I'm going to also read it work and money because you have eight of coins, ten of coins here. You may have a change at your job if you work. You may, they may ask you to do something different. You could have, you could also be meeting new love, possibly. Maybe you're wondering if you should pursue. Yeah, you're going to have a decision here. Something's coming in for you. Might be with a Gemini or a Capricorn, Leo, or a Pisces for some of you. You could have an ex or someone coming back around, possibly. Maybe interested, wanting to know if you want to like work things out. Also, some of you may be, maybe not be liking your work. You may be thinking about moving or getting a different job here. So I see you feeling very confused overall with what's going on. You maybe also feel like you're stuck maybe in a situation where it feels toxic, possibly. You got the devil with the lovers there. I'll show you what the devil is. It could be an air sign. It could be someone that you find is not giving in the relationship or not expressing themselves or not taking action. I feel like, okay, page of cups. Something coming towards you again. It could be a fire sign. It could be someone younger than you. It could be somebody that you really like. It might be a Leo like you, but three of coins. Okay. Nine of coins. Somebody who maybe admires you. I kind of feel the energy here. Disappointment. Okay. Some of you are on the verge of making some sort of change because you're just not happy either with the work you do or your love life or where you live or maybe all three of those things. Something's going to come towards you and kind of give you that like push to make a change. It's not going to be bad. Actually, I feel like it's going to be good. It could be a message. It could be somebody asking you out. I feel like it's someone who could be making you feel really um, good about yourself or just, you know, you feel happy when you're around them. It may be something temporary. I'm, I'm not, it could go either way. I'm just saying it may be something that kind of pushes you forward. And again, some of you are dealing with family. You don't maybe get along with family or your job or something. Justice. You've done everything you can, Leo. Whatever you're dealing with, you've done what you can. You put the effort in. It's showing me that. And you're actually dealing with something that may not be healthy anymore or good for you. It's um, time to make some sort of change. Something is going to trigger you with this Knight of Wands and Page of Cups energy. Yeah, there's a new opportunity. It may be something you weren't expecting, a direction you weren't expecting under the deck, the Two of Cups. Could be new love that pushes you. Someplace new, maybe a Sagittarius. I'm getting it could be a fire sign like you. Some of you also get may be dealing with people who are very non-supportive, like family that's not supportive, or I don't know, an ex or children or something. You don't feel supported. Um, you may be deciding to pick up and like move. What is your animal totem for the week? Purifying frog. It says rebirth. Yeah, cleansing. It says let go of the past, accept new beginnings, and find a path to a new start. And I think that's coming in here with this. Knight of Wands energy. Um, yeah, I feel like you could be in a very different place a year from now, like with different people, a different location, a different job possibly. Uh, things be very um, different than they are now. This could be all because of a new relationship. You do have good news coming in. Okay, that's good. So you have the card of honor and respect will come to you. I do feel like I see that here. Like I feel like you put in a lot of effort so it's not like you didn't try to make things happen, but it's like you're at the end of the road. It's done. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Wow. 
somebody could be receiving some sort of upgrade or um, promotion or something like that as well. Good news around a promotion or being... Uh, yeah, so it's something about honor or respect. Also, you have clouds. These are just temporary problems you're going through. You're going to be stepping into a new experience. And you have... It could be a fair man, possibly. Someone with light hair, gray hair. It says you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. So I don't know if there is someone negative with light hair who, who's sending bad energy towards you. They don't have to be fair. They don't have to be man. But you are being protected from someone. So... This could be a workplace thing. I feel like for some of you, it's time to get out of a work situation. It's not healthy or a love situation. One or the other could also be where you're living. I feel like some of you can pick up and move and go to a very, like, maybe even out of the country for some of you. So this is your sign that it is time to move or make changes. If you can't afford to move, I don't mean you have to move, move. But it is time to make changes because you're stressed and I can see here. And I feel like it could bring, like, bring you health issues or family are causing issues, health issues. Some of you don't get along with family. Like they have different religious or political beliefs and they're always trying to like force them on you or something like that. What does Leo need to know? You're receiving a message. That's his page of cups, Knight of Wands energy. There's a change in the wind coming. So it could be coming out of nowhere. What is this message? Let's see if we can clarify a little bit. What is this message for Leo? Coming in as a knight, so knight of wands, down to the knight of cups. Could be a soulmate connection. It could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or something around money. Maybe a Pisces, maybe something that you don't see coming with the moon energy. Could be a past person. This could be someone that you lost contact with or someone that you didn't think there was anything there. Or maybe you didn't even see them as a love interest. Some of you reaching out of nowhere. They could be pursuing you online. Knight of Swords, again, coming in very fast. Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups. Manifesting this. I see you manifesting this connection with this person. This may be like the answer you need. Again, it could come in the form of maybe like a, I just heard a doctor, maybe someone's a doctor. It could come in the form of um, like someone who gives you news or me messages about like a loan or messages about something else when it comes to the King of Pentacles. Fighting for this love, wanting to, wanting to move forward, manifesting this. Yeah, there's like a message here. Someone is coming toward, something's coming toward you to give you clarity, okay? It's going to come in different ways, but it's going to be what you need. What is going on for Leo? What do they need to know? Inspiration, something that's going to inspire you. Maybe you also you're going to hear messages in the music. You also have bliss and happiness. Music makes you happy. Fears, afraid of just sex, good time, okay? And the Divine Feminine has regrets and inner knowing, not showing true self. Maybe this was a past connection that you thought wasn't gonna go anywhere. Maybe you thought it was just about the hookup or something, and it's not. Maybe this is someone who not showing true self, intuition, honesty, needing to be open and honest. Inspired by happiness. Afraid of just like a hookup or a good time with sex. Regretting not being open with this person, being honest. This could be someone who's also feeling this about you. Someone could be open and honest with you. Okay, someone who could be coming back towards you. Hmm, okay. Let me pull a card from your love and see what's going on here, Leo. Reveal. Could be someone wants to tell you something is what's coming up. I get this could be a younger person than you. They possibly doesn't have to be. But there's this night energy. Maybe this person just doesn't know how to express themselves. Or maybe they just, you know, very like erratic on the go. But it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. There's something that's coming in and it's going to change the direction for you. It's going to give you the, I don't want to say push, it's going to give you the advice or direction you need to know about what to do next. That's what I'm seeing here. So, all right, let me go to another deck really quick here. What does spirit want you to know, Leo? So it's like receiving the sign you need, receiving the message you need. 
new love. So new love or recommitment to love. There's some healing going on here. Old wounds needed revisiting and taking a leap of faith with this new person. So I'm seeing something here where like maybe you're also stepping out of fear. You're not afraid to take a new leap. You're not afraid to go do something new. Um, you're around toxic people. Something's going to shift you to where like you feel like you have to make some sort of change because where you're at is not making you happy at all. So this is going to serve as like, again, that message, that sign you need, that um, person that's coming in. It may be a little bit, I don't think it's scary. I'm not seeing you scared, but I'm seeing you kind of excited. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.